young man, I wonder why my daughter should allow you to come here in the first instance. Today is the last day you would ever step into this house. My daughter is not meant for traps like you. Chief, I love your daughter. I love Ifama so much. The love I have for her worth billions of naira. Chief, I'm a young man, a graduate. I have. Prospect. My friend, my friend, my friend. If you have seen one million naira before, you must stay here and sell this rubbish. Of course. Get out. Chief. Get out! Go! Oh. Out! Take that thing away. Take it away. If you need more collection for my, my bag, wait. Yes. Out! Go! Oh. Nonsense. Come back here! Come back here! Come back! Come back. to gamble, not even with my only child. It took me real effort to swim out of the stream of poverty, and I'm not prepared to lead my own daughter into such dream. That's the new order. The rich wants to relate with the rich, the poor, with themselves. So that they get richer and richer while we stay poorer and poorer? I don't know why Chief doesn't believe that I have a prospect. In this country? Come on, Mr. Tony. The man is no fool. There are little folks for us in this country. We take a look at this. You go to school, stay 10 years for a four years program, comes out, searches for a job endlessly, and even more endlessly when it's a wife. Is it because people don't want to marry poor people, even when you are a graduate? They prefer to marry you when you are loaded. But if Oma is willing to marry me, irrespective of her father's reaction, no doubt she's one in a million, but her father isn't. Fine. This country eh, is coming harder and harder. Nothing is cheap again. Eh? Taxi from where I, I am coming from now, eh? Very hard to get. How was the party? I should the party, George. Did anybody look for me? Mm, not really. Uncle Stanley was here. Did he for my meeting? No, he waited and waited. He said he wanted to tell Auntie Foma that he'll be traveling out of the country to further his education. You only want to say a goodbye. Lucky him and lucky her. But when would these people understand it's just what puts food on our table that matters to us? Not all these education ones. Are you saying that education is not necessary? My sister, in this our age, eh, 
is only how loaded the man is, what he is in a society, and how many cars he has that matters to us. Once I told you. Do you like ice creams? No, I don't. I don't wash it, please. Oh, I'm not. I just want to take you out as a friend. Maybe we'll go down to the supermarket and get the things or anything. I work on the thing you use. No one exams. Yeah, yeah. I, I know this. I say you're something so special. And I must confess you as a gentleman too. Come on. <laughs> Make me a promise. What? That I'll search no more. That I've seen my missing graves. I'm still waiting. Charles, you need nothing to me. Why do you hate me this much? And you too. And from where did you get such an idea? At this age in time, why do you still insist on choosing my life partner for me? Well, it's because what an old man sees while sitting down, a young man never sees it while standing. Yes. And what did you say in a man I've dated for months that you can't inquire from me? A lot, my dear. A lot. I love you. Your mother loves you. 
The problem is that you refuse to realize and appreciate how much we love you. Yes, my dear. My dear, we love you so much. We cherish you. That is why we wouldn't wish you a way to suffering. And who told you that marrying a man I love will lead to that? <laughs> Poverty breeds in all kinds of sufferings. It's not true, Dad. I've seen a lot of couples that are poor and extremely happy suffering and smiling. They're only putting up an act, trying to put smiles on their faces, while praying to God fervently to remove such burden from them. Why so much hatred for the poor? I don't hate anybody. I hate that word, poverty. Why? Because I've experienced it. And it wasn't an easy fight. Yes. So I will not be prepared to initiate it through my own daughter. Daddy, I have every right to make my own choice. Gentleman, he's so loving and caring. Just like poor birds of the same feather. Oh, God. You know, I didn't know I was going to love again after standing. Well, that's the way it is. One one door closes, another one opens. Yeah, but some doors are better on. left unclosed, girl. Okay. <laughs> you have a point. I have a point, but guess what? What? Um, Charles proposed. Congratulations, girl. Tell it for. It's not that easy, girl. I'm afraid. Afraid of what? My father. You know he's not going to let me marry any poor man. But Charles is a com is a computer engineer. He hasn't started badly, and his future is so so bright. I know, but girl, I bet you you don't know my father. I don't know. I don't have to think about that. But mommy, he has prospects now. You just need to be with him a few seconds and you know that. That was exactly what you said some three months ago when you brought in a wizard here. Mm, mommy, please don't refer to Stanley like that. I would have married him was just because I was respecting you and that. But this is someone you can't describe as being poor. Mommy is a computer engineer. He has a car under six months of going private. He has a comfortable apartment. It doesn't really rest on me. It is your father you should worry about. I know. That is why I'm confiding in you. One oh, my mother said. I'm certain I love this guy and he adores me. What else can a girl wish for? A lot, my dear. A lot more. Okay. Tell me why you loved that.
Very good. Yes. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Sit down. Um, I, I'm David D. Rossi. And here with me is my cousin Charles. We are here for a mission. Mm. What mission? Mr. David, David uh, Erosi. Yes, David. Why would you buy me a century? Me? Well, that's what I guess it. Um, my cousin Charles here told me that he saw a beautiful flower in your residence. Oh, this is wonderful, my dear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, that's not difficult. I will just call my gardener to cut some for him. <laughs> she will be <are> very funny. <laughs> no, the question of gardener does not come in here. Go straight to the point. Well, to the point. Um, it is actually about your beautiful daughter. My daughter? Yes, the beautiful one. By the time I come down here again, I don't want to see you or your uncle. Gold diggers. What are you still waiting for? And who are you leaving this for? Everything I pleaded to him through him. And why would any parents not wish Charles for his son in law? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> you know, sometimes I wonder if my daddy really wants me to get married. Mama, I think you're part of the problem. How? Look, you've been too open to the child. Why don't you put up a fight? Stand up. That's why they do take turns. And it's that you as a grown up. Hi. 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 Uh, how are you? Hello, Ah, Charles, my guest time. How are you doing now? All right. Yeah. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Ah uh, yes, Mike. Uh, um, yes, I want the letters to be ready. Yes, because you have to take them to Abuja. It's all right. Then get to the account section and uh, get the voucher ready for the ticket. Daddy, what have I done? Where have I gone wrong? What have I done? Why would you let me choose my own husband? Why? 
informer stop that. Stop what, Mom? Stop what? Oh, he didn't tell you that he wants me. What? Informer. Come on, Dad. He didn't tell your wife that you want me for a second wife. Stop it! Stop it, informer! Stop it! of my reach. But what wrong have I done? The worst is that Charles believes I'm part of this disgrace. Okay. Chief Thomas Iwala, you will soon understand your little daughter is made of stunning stuff. has come over you. What, Mom? You have completely changed. Over a year now, you are more or less a stranger. Completely withdrawn. Well, it's obvious I've made up my mind. Over what? I've agreed to that proposal. What proposal? I have decided to share that with you. What has come over you, Ifoma? I'm sorry to second you, Mom. You stop it! Stop that, Ifoma! I'm serious, Mom. Just get ready to share your husband with me.
Okay. A tribute to a beautiful lady. I don't think I need that. Shh. You don't have to say that. A great mind don't say no to gifts. Well, I don't know you. You don't have to know me. A gift is a gift. Oh well. Thank you. The pleasure is mine. And uh, thanks for being reasonable. Meet me. Uh, my name is Chinedu. My friends call me a doostic. Mm -hmm. I will. Uh, I would like to know you. It's not necessary. Do you know where she stays? Yes. She just lived down the street there. 32 Chime Street. 32 Chime Avenue. Yes. Alright. So, how much is my bill? 18,450. 18,450. Yes. Alright. Oh, this is uh, 20,000 now. You can keep the change. Thank you very much. Ifoma, what is it that your mother said you told her yesterday? She says some funny things like you haven't decided not to marry. It's obvious you want to marry me now. Now that's an absurd statement. You know that. But I'll pardon you. See, my dear. I have my reasons. There is nothing like someone loving a man so much because when you see one, you have seen the rest. But the freak is making sure that whoever that is living with you will be able to provide adequately for you. Just look at your mother. She's not complaining. Exactly. So I've decided to join her. Join her? Mm -hmm. I want to show you. I've to become a second Get your filthy hands off me! Have you gone crazy? Gone crazy? Come on, daddy. I want you. Isn't that what you want? No! Then let me marry a man of my own choice. Yes, sir. You see, if I'm as disgraced to me again. But it's not our fault. Where on earth is it here that parents decide for their children who to marry? Is if I'm a kid? 
But her parents are trying to... Trying to do what? Trying to do what? Anyway, that's why I left Papa and Mama alone, because I can't stand anyone trying to rule my life for me. It's impossible. If Oma's case is different, maybe because she's the only child. And then? Is that why they should rule her life for her? No, this is ridiculous. Okay. Okay, how are you? You're okay, man. I've been expecting you. Well, I've been very, very busy. So. How is your business? Oh, business is booming now. Because that demands a, a whole lot of attention. I need to travel from one country to the other from time to time. I know. How about, how about America? Well, America was okay when I left it. Okay, you're welcome, eh? All right. You're welcome. Mommy! Yes. to her that I mean no harm, okay? Huh? I'll get it, girl. Yeah, we 
top layer. Just to say that I care. Chinedu. I'm surprised your sister will not skin you alive if she, if she has this. Anyway, she won't be back until tomorrow afternoon. So I am alone as of now. She traveled. I don't know for how. This kind of life, I'm tired of it. Do you know what? She hardly noticed I'm in the house. She's either with one man or the other. Now wow, this is your sister is to enjoy, you know. Let's not forget, John asked me to tell you to come and see him. Don't mm -hmm. mind that boy. I asked him to buy me a novel. Just a novel. He said he has no money. That doesn't mean he doesn't love you. My sister tells me that love does not exist. There is no love without money. Angela. Ah. I care a lot about you, and believe me, there's no harm intended. Have a nice day.
Okay. Girl. Yeah. She like, yeah, I don't know. That dance, uh, I don't really like it. Oh. I don't even so shy. It's just mm. Mm. I like it to keep down. But you need it for too long, it's gonna kick in your face now. Don't you get it? No, I don't think so. Ify! Ify! Yes, mom! I feel like I'm gonna swim to the face. Good afternoon, my dear. How are you? Fine, thank you. Hey, you for ma? Somebody said I should give you this. Yes. Good afternoon, my dear. How are you? Fine, thank you. Hey, you for ma? Somebody said I should give you this. Yes. Cotton two chances I have. Now it's their turn. Former, don't talk like that. Don't. Yeah. It's your life, okay? Not theirs. And they wouldn't allow me to live my life the way I want it. They are making sure you don't make a mistake. And who told you Stanley and Charles are mistakes? At least you know that, don't you? Well, your parents have their values. That's my own detriment, right? Charles and Stanley. Okay. Right soon up. Behind every cloud is a silver lining. If a ma wake up, what you need to do? This one.
Yeah, where are you heading? I'm going home. Come on, if you don't need to be hostile, okay? I said I will take you home. Thank you, I can find a cab. Come on. I promise I'll... Come on, I'll take you wherever you want to go, I promise. to you in that supermarket, I kept saying to my, myself, where did this angel come out from? And each time I close my eyes, it's your face that I see. Oh, why don't you give me this opportunity to prove myself? If you are curious. talking about? He has all it takes. At least for once your father is happy with the man you are going out with. Who's going out with him? And he likes him because they are two of a kind. Chinido is handsome. Hmm. He is responsible. He's caring. Above all, he's rich. Why are you suddenly this persuasive? Why? Because you are not getting any younger. No! Because I think you don't want me to share that with you. Why can't you be serious for me? I am serious! Chinedo is perfect for you. Perfect? Yes. I don't think there's any such word.
something bigger. Do you like it? Yes, I do. 
Very expensive. Mm -hmm. Chido is so caring, child. He is so caring. Say so, Oh. It's what I'm happy that you are happy, my oh, dear. Yeah. You see, it's an it's a very genuine. Ah, it's my match. Daddy! <laughs> that is the father's daughter. <laughs> oh, let's look at you. Oh, yeah. Ever looking wonderful. So, this is good. That's my this pride. Is, yes, yes. <laughs> you see, she's always she's taking good care of her. Good. Better than you and I. Of course. Oh, of this course. is good. This is good. That's why I insisted on the right choice for her. Of course. I think we're all happy now. We are so happy, <laughs> I'm happy indeed. Baby. You see what I'm... Are you not happy, my dear? I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. happy. You see? Yes, you you see? Should. That's what I told you. What an old man sees while sitting down. Yes. A young man never sees his wife standing. I am <laughs> Yes. I wonder if you'd be looking like this if I had allowed those uh, gold diggers. Those thoughts, lizards, you brought here to take you away. Daddy. Yes, you will not even be driving a beautiful car today. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. oh uh, this is good. Oh, I'm very happy. That's good. That's good. Uh, that's, you guys, leave that plot and let us chat. Yes. Please, will you push your attention for me? Okay. Everything I've ever wished for. Okay. It's a wonderful oh. boy. That's <laughs> good. That's good. Hey, um. my dear. that you almost frustrated me into quitting. You know, Rina's don't quit. Yeah, and I'm glad I didn't quit. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had such a priceless jewel as a wife. I'm going to cherish you for the rest of my life. I'll do the same too. Are you sure? important business trip tomorrow. To where? In Tarkot. When are you coming back? Um, on Thursday. Thursday? Yeah, just for two days. I mean, two days only in this house, in this bed? It's more like two months. Sweetheart, listen. It's very important, okay? I have to go on that trip. Besides, I have to work hard so that we could always live up to expectation. You know your father wouldn't take it kindly with us if we would be below, uh, below the standard. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You don't know well he's the cost. So?
Sem isso aqui. Have you seen the doctor? Yes. Why? Let's go and see the doctor right away. Hmm? Are you sure you're all right? It's okay then. Let's, let's go inside, okay? Delicious. Mm. Very, very delicious. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna do the next cooking though. school friend. An old friend? Sure. But the name sounds so odd. What's odd in Tiger? Uh, I mean Ikenga. Tiger. Ikenga. When you also have friends bear such names. <laughs> 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 I'm 
was good, yes. Uh, Thomas. Yes. Let's forget about business for now. Right. How is your daughter and her loving husband? Oh, they are very fine. Do you know that vibrant young man is the dream of every woman? That sounds exciting. Oh, it is, it is. <laughs> um, I also heard that um, he's building a filling station. Ah, uncle. Do you know that all the equipment that young man is using to build that station, he imported them. Is that? Yes. Thomas, yes. you have a very big dream for your daughter. <laughs> and such a man is a target to every woman. And again, he's into importation of uh, general items. Is that? You know, young boys of these days, they don't deal on one item. Yes. Their speciality is anything that brings uh, grit to the meal. As long as it keeps his bank account swelling. Of course, that's the first law in business. <laughs> You and I know that is the truth. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you consider the profit first and uh, all the same, I'm happy, I'm happy at yeah. least uh, that my daughter is very happy today. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, please. Uh, it's like uh, a dream come true. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's say because most of my business partners are still single. I mean, they're all bachelors. And they take business to be very important that it wouldn't be such an ideal thing to bring a girlfriend along. But never mind. Very soon we're all going to get married and get settled. And all that will be over. And I hope they'll be very soon. Very soon, then. Come in. Ah, <laughs> my good friend, Doctor Lucas. <laughs> ah, long time no see. Chief, is it? It's neither here or there. 
It's just that uh, the season is very hectic. How was your trip to Germany? Fine, it's just yeah. okay. No problem. What do I offer you? Oh, we should know our usual old days. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey on the road. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, please. Um, I need uh, whiskey on the rock. Two. Yeah, that's the room. That's the room. Thank you. Fine. I'm very happy to see you. Thank you. Yeah. So, when is the consignment due for shipment? Oh, I do. You see, the moment we collect the money, everything will be ready. That's no problem. You can go to the bank tomorrow and effect the transfer. Chief, that's <laughs> splendid. That is very, very splendid. Because I've just collected uh, $250,000 from Mr. Day. In fact, he just left here not quite long before you came in. Fine, that's fine. <laughs> that must be the way to Yeah, it's good to this house. It's good to this Jesus Christ! You guys should wait for me in the car. What? Man, why are we still in the car? Shoot this man, let's get out of bed. I said wait for me in the car! I swear on my own, I won't talk. How am I going to be chief? Ah, Jimmy, do. Test me. And you know that I'm a double title chief. Just test me. Please. I have everything to lose. Begin your life, Jimmy. So sweet. Ah, Jimmy, do. I know my daughter loves you so much. And I won't be the one to cut her joy. Yes, we make a deal. I will give you any amount. Any amount. Shh. Shh. I don't fish at home, Chief. I'm going to make a deal with you. Nonetheless, if you keep your mouth shut, you're still alive. If you speak to the police or anybody, you will die. Ah, I promise. I won't talk. I promise you, I promise you. You can't kill yourself, Jimmy. You can expose me for all I can. But I'll make sure I'll get you whatever you are before I face the hand man. See, I swear I will get my own side of the back end. No, don't do it. Don't do it. No. Shouldn't be based on my 
your business dinners the night before for me? Um, let's say because most of my business partners are still single. I mean, they're all bachelors. Mm -hmm. And they take business to be very important that it wouldn't be such an ideal thing to bring a girlfriend along. Mm -hmm. But never mind. Very soon we're all going to get married and get settled. And all that will be over. And I hope that will be very soon. Very soon, babe. Gotta go now.
Yeah, please. Uh, you're coming forward, you. Yeah? Uh, please call me back in five minutes. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you. I want to see Dr. Lucas. Oh, Dr. Lucas? Yes. Uh, sir, may I know your name? Uh, Chief Thomas. Okay, you're welcome. Hello, Dr. Lucas. Chief Thomas is here to see you, sir. Good, good, good. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So I say you should come over to room 214. Oh, that's wonderful. You're welcome. See you. Thank you, sir. Come in. Ah, <laughs> my good friend, Dr. Lucas. <laughs> ah, long time no see. Chief, you see, it's neither here or there. It's just that uh, the season is very hectic. How was your trip to Germany? Fine, it's just okay. No problem. What do I offer you? Oh, you should know our usual OB. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey on the road. <laughs> right, Chief. Yeah. Yeah, please. Um, I need uh, whiskey on the rock. Two. Yeah, that's the room. That's the room. Thank you. Fine. I'm very happy to see you. Thank you. Yeah. So, when is the consignment due for shipment? Oh, you see, the moment we collect the money, everything will be ready. That's no problem. You can go to the bank tomorrow and effect the transfer. Chief, that's <laughs> splendid. <laughs> that is very, very splendid. Because I've just collected uh, $250,000 from Mr. Day. Okay. In fact, he just left here not quite long before you came in. Fine, that's fine. <laughs> that must be the hotel. Yes. Please be up to the sun. It's a very gentleman. Shit! Jesus Christ! sleep away from my hands just because her father exposed me. Chedu, I swear on my honor, I won't talk. How vulnerable is your honor, Chief? Chedu, test me. I will know that I'm a double title chief. Just test me. Please. I have everything to lose. Living your life, Chief. Such stupidity is not my count. Ah, Chinedu. I know my daughter loves you so much. And I won't be the one to cut her joy. So, we make a deal? Yes, we make a deal. I will give you any amount. Any amount. Shh. Shh. I'm going to make a deal with you. Nonetheless, if you keep your mouth shut, you're still alive. If you speak to the police or anybody, you will die. Ah, I promise. I won't talk. I promise, Chile. I promise you. You can't keep yourself, Chief. You can expose me for all I can. But I make sure I'll get you wherever you are before I first hand man. See?
Oh, I missed you. How are you? Mr. Plato. I want to find out the night. It was okay. And how was your night? Fine. Fine. I got this for you. There's something I want us to talk about. What is it? It's your business. My business? What about my business? So, what about my business? Y you sort of go for it at all times. We're scared about what? You know, honey, you do. <laughs> oh my god. Relax, baby. Relax? Yeah, relax. You see, I've always longed for the day you, you'd ask. And? Alright. 
Listen, we swore to secrecy. What secret? Well, all that is over now because um, I can afford not to let my one and only heart throb not to know what I'm doing for a living. I work with the SSS. The SSS. Mm -hmm. The State Security Service. You mean? Yeah, I work with the Nigerian State Security. For some time, I thought you were... You thought I was what? Never mind. I guess I was just holding the stick from the wrong end, that's all. Well, you better turn it to the other end. I think um, I prefer to eat. Okay, in a different. I'll bring it up. Did you say? If I must leave Chinedu, why would she do that? Why? You will soon know. Yes. Why do you want your mother to leave her husband? I am not trying to mess her life up. I am trying to make sure that she has a life left to live. Why this? You have severely prided yourself of steering your only daughter to the befitting teenager. Yes, I know. I know that one. And then why this? So they turn around. Because the teenager I knew is no longer the teenager I now know. You just woke up from the middle of the night and decided that your daughter would go to her village. Is it, that it was not a dream, my dear. It was real. What are you saying? Never mind. All I know is that if Oma must quit that marriage. You are sounding rather strange. Yes, I may be sounding strange. But she must leave Chinedu. I should pack up my marriage.
That is what is going to be, my dear. But why? Some things are better left unexplained. But take it from me. The way I guided you into that marriage is the same way I will guide you out of it. What are you talking about? Uh, if um, Sometimes things are never what they seem to be. And when you find out, you make a U-turn. Believe me, I have this feeling and a good reason to say that it was a huge mistake giving you to Chinedu. Yes. I think I'm prepared to live with that mistake. My dear, listen to your father. He has his reasons. What reasons, mom? He said to do his time this time. Charles! Okay, when Chidu came along, I refused, but both of you pressurized me every moment, every hour. I finally caved in because of God's commandments. Honor thy father and your mother, which I did. Now I am deeply in love with my husband, and he is telling me to quit. Yes! Do you still want me as a second wife? How dare you say that again? I don't think I'm that hungry. Hmm. So what do you want? Why don't you take a wild guess? I think I can make the right guess. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Confident. I have a problem in my hands now. My daughter, my only child, has been misdirected by me. What are you talking about? And it's eating me like a canker worm. Then why do you want your daughter out of her husband's house? Uh, my brother, you see. A Pawan Tapa does not say all that he sees while on top of the tree. Mm. My brother, 
I know, I know, I know, but uh, take it the way you see it. Understand that I have a good reason for the actions I'm taking. Well, in that case, we have to invite Ifoma for us to talk to her. Uh, yes, but um, better, l l let's, let's pay her a visit. Mm -hmm. Another dinner date, baby. Oh, come on, come on, baby. Please be careful, okay? I will. I promise. I love you. I love you too. I have no problem. Mm, she said that our parents asked her to come back to the house and leave her husband. What, what, what sort of nonsense is that? Eh? Why won't these old people leave this girl alone? Eh? Uh -uh. Eh, maybe they discovered that the husband is not as rich as they think. Oh, wow, and so? Is that why they, should, they, they, they just have to consider that girl's happiness? Eh? By the way, Chinedu has money. Eh, but sister, you say love does not exist or matter. Come on, will you shut up and get inside? She said if you try and see how I'll try. Huh? to ask you to come home. Yes, and I've uh, invited your uncle to come because, uh, oh, by the way, where is he? Who, my husband? Um, uh, yes. He has gone out for business. It's all right. Anyway. I ask your uncle to accompany me to come and persuade you to come back to your parents. Well, thank God uncle is here. I mean, now you might want to tell me the reason why you want me to leave the only man that means so much to me. Uh, my daughter, how you see? Uh, what an elderly man sees sitting down. Uncle, I have heard that saying so many times in this lifetime. Too. Yes, it is a wise saying. Eh, my daughter, there are lots of men waiting for you out there. Just look at yourself. Look at yourself like a morning star. Oh. You have to leave this man because of our family's name. 
and you have to pack your things immediately and leave him. Exactly. Why? He's not good. Not good? <laughs> I, I don't get this. I mean, where on earth is he written that every good husband cannot be a bad man? Why? Where? For Christ's sake, Daddy, Shedu is the best thing that has ever happened to my life. He is one man every woman would want. Informer! I never wanted to get to this level. But what I'm telling you now is that you stand the risk of being disowned by me if you continue to be this defiant. Don't even talk about that. <coughs> don't talk about being disowned. Forget that one. I mean, you don't expect me to leave my husband just like that. No reason, no nothing. I love that man. He means so much to me. I can't leave him just like that. You have to tell me the reason. Give me the reason. <laughs> Thomas, I think at this point in time, she deserves to know. That's him. He's back. Give my wife. Uh, I'm sure she was so excited having you around that she actually forgot to offer you some drink. All the same, I'll get you something from the fridge. Thank you. So, Uncle, how is business? Fine, fine, Jimmy. That's fine. Let me get. We are not in the mood for this entertainment now. So? Uh, no, uh, it's alright, it's okay. Uh, Uncle, I think we better be going. Uh, yes, yes. Can you tell me more? Okay. I'm coming. Come back to your parents. Do you hear me? So they're not coming back. Who's up? On our hands. You can say that again, Uncle. Hey, Thomas, what exactly makes you to break such a happy family? Uncle, rap okwa. Leave talk. I am a forgive. My eye has seen my ear. Let us go. Let's go. Between my dad and you, and he suddenly changed. He doesn't like you that much. Again. He actually said I should leave you. Did he say that? That's why they came. What else did he say? Just that. No. Are you willing to leave me? Of course not. Never. Are you sure? Hmm. Everything is going to be fine, okay? Yeah. It's all right. Mm -hmm.
Just like that. My sister, just like that. Too. I don't know why my parents have decided to ridicule me. Is it not the same parents that encourage you and say so many good things about you, Nedu? What must have gone wrong? I am very, very, very confused here. Ify, I think you should listen to your parents. They must have seen something wrong in him. <laughs> I, does he look like I care? I don't. The disgrace is mine, not my parents' own. I love Chinedu, and there is nothing anybody can do about it. Fine now. This is trouble, though. My dear, can we just forget about this topic? Getting pissed off. If this is how marriage is, me, I'm afraid, though. I'm afraid. Try to get into it first and stop talking if it's how it's going to be. I'm going to take my time oh, and I will girl. take my time. You're ah. not getting any younger. I better go. I Meanwhile, what's up, sub? It's been long I saw you. You're looking twitched up. What's up then? What happened? I just did, Sha. Nothing much. has not it's been very... Okay, you're looking so twitched up and everything. Where's yeah. the guy on night? Please stop flashing me. Excuse me. Stop flashing me. Don't do it. Wait. I beg you. <laughs> I wanted a man I will help build up. You said no. I brought another one. You said over your dead body. You wanted a wealthy man. Now you have one. Why are you still complaining? Why? Ifoma, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I overreacted. But all I wanted was to make sure that you have adequate security as my only child. Now, I have no choice. So why are you bent on destroying my life? Why? I never wanted to say this. I made an oath. I promised Chine do that. I did keep quiet. And that was why he spared my life. See my husband again. Yes. Mm -hmm. All that money that he showers on you. Have you for once asked him how he makes it? <laughs> that? Huh, God. Relax. Okay. My husband, Chinedu, has a legitimate business. A legitimate business? Yes. Do you mind enlightening me? Of course I can. My husband works for the SSS, State Security Service. Smart boy. He told you that? He didn't tell me. I found out myself. Believe that and you believe anything. Enough of this, your pranks. Tell me something if there's anything to tell. If there's not, quit all this thing and stop watching me. Uh -uh. I love Chinedu, and quitting him is the last thing on my mind. Oh, oh. If I'm, please, I'm your father. All I am doing is for your own good. Please listen to me. Why are you doing this to me? Why?
You don't have any issue and you are not pregnant. Who told you? Are you? Forget about that. Um, oh God. I've thought over it. This is not a life I want to live. Akila. A rob of my husband. Monstrous face. The man I love with every drop of my blood. What are you saying, Ifoma? What are you talking about? Love is funny, isn't it? I have seen able bodied people love disabled. Same people love insane ones. I'm a human being dead. Even though my husband is a gangster. I love him. You still love him? Of course, Mom. Besides, love is for better for us. I am in and I've decided to stay in. Oh my God. I'm sorry if I have to disappoint you people, but you found me a wealthy man and I'm not looking for another one. I have a confession to make. Why don't you go and see a priest? Chill, Tiger, let's hear him out. Listen, that night we cleaned out that guy in the hotel. My father in law was there. No wonder you ask 
next is to stay outside. I made a great mistake. But despite all, I believe we're still human. I fired a shot over his head. Shit. I, I love my wife. I just couldn't afford to kill her father. Chidim, do you know you are the boss of this outfit? You are sleeping. For God's sake, we are not talking about your wife. You left a witness to hunt us. We swore an oath. It's just that he has turned around to haunt me. He wants his daughter out of my life. And that's just step one. Step two, he turns us all in. But first, she wants his daughter out of the way. Can't you understand that? Can't you understand that? I guess you're right. He's no guest guy. That's the game plan. Well, if that is the game plan, then Chief has lost the game. My wife has sworn to leave and die with me no matter what. And if you believe that, I trust my wife. My only problem is her father. We small him. Yes, you are Mrs. Ifoma Chinedu, Chinedu's wife. Yes, I am. And who are you? Inspector John from the forces headquarters. What for? Um, where is your husband? Let's go look for business. Business? Mm -hmm. And where exactly is his office? I mean, why all these questions? You should ask him when you see him. All right. Um, please, madam, can you escort me outside? I want to show you something. After you. All right. This is it. Very sorry for what happened outside. But I want to sincerely advise you to please pack all your belongings and go back to your father's house. This house has been seized by the government. Everything in the house has been seized. Madam, 
If we come back to this house in the next 48 hours and meet you here, we won't hesitate to arrest you. Your father is one of the most honest and honorable gentlemen in this country. Please, please in the name of God, comply. Good day. The mess of my choice. <laughs> Leave me to marry <laughs> the one that I love. Leave me to marry the one that you choose. If you make any choosing the wrong one for me. Oh, I'm happy that you collected the documents. Thank you very much. Yes, we will meet. Thank you. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, bye. You have killed him, right? You've taken him away from me. Are you satisfied? What would I tell my baby? That you have ruined my life. You have ruined my life. You two pushed me into this mess. If you had allowed me Mary Stanley or Charles, all this disgrace would have been a big You want this a big and you did. You did. What would I tell my baby? What? What would I tell my baby? Fast now, we we'll all be doomed, man. Exactly, nigga. Doomed. We got to be very, very fast. Doomed. Yeah. 
What?
He could be 